Like, you're a horrible individual, bro. That's why I can't respect you, fam. And the audience are still saying, F Ringo. Who cares? You didn't do nothing wrong. He owes you money. Those are demons. You basically stole my money. He didn't just come out on his own accord. You know, I had to pay the bill for him to fly out and do what he needed to do. So it's not like he came down here on his own pocket. I paid for that. You looking stupid as hell, bro. Like, you look like a real fool. He's talking about, oh, y'all just moved. Bro, we have air mattresses. Brand new air mattresses in the house. Y'all didn't have to leave. You wanted to leave because you didn't want to be around us. Tell the people the truth. Y'all was salty the whole time. You destroyed a friendship. You, de you destroyed a business relationship. You destroyed all sorts of stuff, bro. Like, you, you sabotaged everything. This is possibly the worst thing you ever done. I, I, this is not the Salvation Army, fam. I didn't agree, like, oh, yeah, bring all your family, kids, everybody. I'm, I'm going to take care of everybody. Like, that's not what this thing is, man. He brought his woman, and I end up paying more money to make it seem like I took advantage of a pregnant woman. It's dirty work, fam. You try to destroy my reputation. You try to make me look bad in these YouTube streets. You're doing the same damn thing these damn women do on social media. You try to throw a brother under the bus by making them think that they're an abuser of women. You should be ashamed of yourself, fam. That's your wife. That's your woman. I didn't put her to lift no boxes. I didn't tell your woman, yo, go over there and lift those boxes. I don't care if New Breed's your husband. You won't listen to me. Go over there and lift those boxes. How could I tell your woman to do work, bro? You were the one that told your woman behind the scenes, yeah, Ringo gone. He gonna give me $3,500. So, baby, I want you to come with me because if you come with me, we're able to work faster. We could get this money. We could do what we need to do. We really need this money. You know, the babies are coming. You know, we could really need this money. And that's exactly what was the conversation between you and your woman. I can guarantee. You. And your woman probably was looking at you getting salty. Like, did he pay you? Did he pay you? In my voice memos, I made it very clear to him that I'm trying to save money. I'm not trying to spend more money. Why would I pay New Breed $3,500, right? With that $35, right? Now you add in the uh, $25 for the truck, right? So you're looking at $6,000 $6, right there. Then you look at an extra $1,000 for his flight to come to New York. So that's $7,000. That's, that's crazy. Why would I do that? Your boy, New Breed, admits that he's wrong. But his audience still hate Ringo TV. Make that make sense. Well, New Breed's supporters are idolaters. Some of his supporters and even your followers came here accusing me of causing division amongst the brethren when I was always against UP Farms for a potential conflict that took place between you two brothers. But most importantly, because y'all were conveying that business is more important than the scriptures when it comes to this land initiative. Y'all were trying real hard to develop an identity that was contrary to Dirty Low Dow's cultivation of the Old Testament, knowing that he misused the scriptures to swell his own empire. Did the initial video I did cause division amongst the brethren? No. If anything, it led to new breed repenting for understanding the situation for what otherwise could have led to hearts hardening the longer this contention was drawn out. And obviously, I could discern that things weren't quite right between you two brothers. But continue. It was like you was trying to shake me down for money, and I'm looking at you like you crazy. Like, literally, I'm looking at you like you crazy. No breed, brother. You still got a lot of questions to answer, man. Later, I will play Mark the Messenger what he had to say, and I will list questions about UP Farms Land Initiative for your audience and my audience to answer. Because apparently, you still want to quote the scriptures. You know, I don't know what he bugging out. Like, like I owe him something extra. Next minute, dude started talking about, yeah, I need, I'm going to need that. I'm looking at this cat like, bro, you going to need that. <laughs> like, bro, you, you do realize what you're doing, right? Ringo TV, I'm sure you were aware that New Breed demanded a $30,000 honorarium from brother Michael Israel for the sake of his own brand, just to make an appearance on his podcast. So when you say that you tested New Breed, it's apparent that you were setting him up for what you already know that he was capable of. But continue. Like you're a horrible individual, bro. That's why I can't respect you, fam. Even if you did that video and you're talking about why oh, I apologize for this, fam, I don't care about none of that. You played yourself, bro. Ringo TV is also upset about the diss track that New Breed made concerning him. But Ringo TV needs to stop vaguely attacking those who adhere to the scriptures because I have provided evidence that the virgin birth is legitimate, that Jesus Christ is God, and that polygyny is a package deal that was done away with in the Old Testament.
and these facts that I've laid out in, in previous videos really hurt your credibility and your claims on being knowledgeable in the scriptures. But most importantly, it puts your soul in danger of hellfire. If you look at the comments on New Breed's video, it's very apparent that all of those people that follow him are very satanic and evil. What this taught me is that this chosen one cult that's on social media is evil. The chosen ones primarily is those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life because according to the scriptures, they are few. The 12 tribes of Israel best represent the mark of Christ through repentance. The Most High said that we are above all the people on the face of the earth, but he added an amendment saying that unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. See, New Breed has not been teaching on how the Gentiles will have to serve and the penalties they must pay for the sins of their ancestors because it's bad for business with this UP Farms ordeal. But this is also not an opportunity for you, Ringo TV, to just be tuning off on Bible-believing followers of Christ because you speak of many things you don't understand, bro. If New Breed wasn't so driven by money, I believe he could have exposed your hand and discerned your disinterest in the land initiative because you were just there to see if his audience could somehow be manipulated and to subscribe to your foolishness. And since New Breed does speak more about the scriptures than you do, I think you realize there is no way to increase your base partnering with him Hence the reason why you're going so hard against him now, because you got to protect your own brand. When you see an audience saying F Ringo, even after New Breed says, oh, yeah, it's a misunderstanding. I see where. Oh, I see where it went wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You know, things happen, people. You know how it is. Yeah. You know. And the audience are still saying F Ringo. Who cares? You didn't do nothing wrong. He owes you money. Those are demons. No, not quite. Some of them are possessed by demons. There's a big difference. You got a habit of calling people demons. The scriptures say that life of the flesh is in the blood. People are possessed by demons. And trust me, you haven't seen a real demon. So he could talk to y'all about these things. He could make himself feel like whatever he's doing between him and the most high. I really care less, fam. You done me dirty, bro. You lied on me. You made your audience believe that I'm, I'm abusing a pregnant woman, man. Woe be unto you, fam. I saw some people in the comments saying that Ringo TV is jealous of New Breed. I disagree. He's not jealous. He just hates that he's still taking a loss publicly in this whole ordeal, even after he's been exonerated. This is the same guy who said, And again, I tell you as I sit here, I pray for your death death if you slander my name because Ringo TV has a very evil bitter spirit and also he has too much pride to admit when he's wrong on the scriptures now I want to remind you that I told you Negroes UP farms would not work and y'all took subtle shots at me accusing me of spending too much time in my bible and not building anything and your audience those who support these two heathens it's partially your fault as well, because you Negroes don't ask the right questions according to the scriptures, because you're the ones not reading your Bible. And I address both New Breed and Ringo TV about their false doctrines, and they ridiculed me. So why don't you guys ask Ringo TV, what is he building now that he's not rocking with UP Farms? And recently, he said he's going to stop talking about the scriptures, because when he does, you don't support the channel but that's the whole point of being a servant of christ is that people are going to reject the word i've been teaching this word on youtube now for five years and i only had my cash shop up barely for a few weeks in 2022 because i understand you need training on going without and not getting paid for teaching this word in order to grow in christ jesus and I genuinely got so much love for the word of Christ. I mean, not tooting my own horn, but the scriptures state that those who are Christ will crucify the flesh with its passions and desires. You cannot serve God and mammon. 
let me make this clear, though. That does not mean I will not have my cash app back up in the near future because the people who listen to this channel need to have a root in Christ Jesus and not just be spectators. Okay. Christ said, if you deny me before men, I will deny you before my father who is in heaven. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Okay, that's not just speaking to these false prophets. That's speaking to you, the viewer, as well. So support the man of God and support those who teach the real unadulterated truth. As I stated before, we must establish a market for hard truths. Don't sit around just being spectators because the Most High will judge you for what you did and what you did not do. All right? And contribution to his kingdom. In Ringo TV, you put man and mammon before Christ. So what do you expect in the day of judgment? You think you're going to inherit the kingdom of God? Huh. You're going to be in for a rude awakening. In New Breed, you need to repent for you. what you said, stating that what you're building with UP Farms is bigger than your own beliefs. I mean, if I'm correct, that's what you said. I'm on a new level right right now. And this level is beyond my personal beliefs. I haven't even given y'all a reason. And already, I'm gonna get attacked by these crazies who in their Bible all day but ain't building nothing. Hey, I mean, I hope that I hope that bro get back to biblical content. I really do. Cause that's the that's the person that I grew to respect over the years. That's the person that um I felt that I would support. Who in their Bible all day, but ain't building nothing. Always have respect for him. You know, like an older brother, I see him as, you know, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't see him as a brother no more because, you know, every time he called it wasn't it wasn't no it was just what he could get from me that's just how i felt and that's how it is you know um and it's crazy because you could give to a person right but sometimes it's just never enough it's never enough you know um it's just never enough so sitting up here playing with the most high both of y'all need to repent because both of y'all full of the devil why you told the people that as soon as y'all pulled up i just ignored you and went to mowing the lawn like you literally manipulated this whole situation and it backfired on you. Yeah, but you didn't see his manipulation when he was willing to ditch the scriptures for business. And these two hypocrites test the most high just so they can make some money and gain some traction with men. Then they flip the script and do all this talking about morality when there's a dispute over some money. And again, this only scratched the surface of what I believe would have been future entanglements between Ringo TV and New Breed over this land initiative. Because I believe New Breed would have eventually said to Ringo TV, look, we need you to drop 10 bands for the greater cause. And I think Ringo TV caught on to what New Breed was doing and said to himself, man, if this dude will ditch the most high in the scriptures, then he'll certainly ditch me. That's why he's been criticizing religion and speaking against monitoring spirits and the chosen ones. That's why everything you notice Ringo TV has been talking about, he hasn't been talking about the scriptures lately. He's been criticizing religion or what he calls religious people because he keeps running into false prophets. He's talking about, oh, y'all just moved. Bro, we have air mattresses, brand new air mattresses in the house. Brand new air mattresses in the house. The room is empty. Y'all didn't have to leave. You wanted to leave because you didn't want to be around us. Tell the people the truth. Y'all was salty the whole time. Now, I believe Ringo TV is being honest about everything that took place with his trip to North Carolina with New Breed. New Breed never wanted his friendship. I believe Ringo TV is one of those dudes that love hard, but his love is not the love of Christ. Don't get me wrong, though. Forgiveness is not an easy thing to do, but we all must forgive so our Father in Heaven will forgive us. Your hotel spot by the loft, and we left you guys there, and y'all had multiple hours to get rest. You had way 
more than enough time to rest. So for you to say you didn't have no sleep and you were just working nonstop is a lie. You know, I was just reading the comments on Ringo TV's page. Q Brown said, next time you'll be paying that 3500 to 4K to that moving company. Ain't nobody coming to help you lift one box, fam. <laughs> I believe Ringo TV used the moving situation as an opportunity to see what exactly drives New Breed. Because he sincerely was contemplating making a huge investment in UP Farms. And he believes he played a pivotal role in the growth of New Breed's channel over the years. So he's certainly not cheating the man by asking the brother to help him move. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Especially since New Breed himself repented in a video he made yesterday. And Ringo TV did invite the man into his house with his wife. And he had a spare room where they can rest their head. He offered them food, pay for their flight. He didn't tell him not to bring his wife because I don't believe he wanted to come across as not being hospitable. Friendship seems to be something that's important to Ringo TV. And this is a man that's dealing with the demons of his past and how he was betrayed by Creflo Dollar. Also, I want to add that shout outs on YouTube is far more valuable than the average viewer perceives it. So Rango TV was thinking about all the times he shouted out New Breed and how that contributed to money in New Breed's pocket as well. And Rango TV has been on YouTube before New Breed. I'm not defending him. I'm just being objective. Yes. That's why I put that thousand dollars in your hand. I wanted to see how far the rabbit hole goes to see how you move when it comes to money. And when I put that money in your hand, it told me everything I needed to know. It taught me and told me that you came down there with the intentions of thinking that you were supposed to get paid. And that's when I put two and two together. And that's when I started leaving all those voice messages to let you know what the deal really is. You failed the money test. I actually think it was a smart move on Ringo TV's part. Considering his frame of mind now, okay, not that it was a smart move on his part to even consider being involved in UP Farms, but according to his frame of mind, he was once sincerely committed to UP Farms, but he was still a bit uncertain about New Breed. And he had the right to be uncertain about New Breed. Or should I say he was right for being uncertain about New Breed. I believe Ringo TV is well aware that New Breed demanded a $30,000 honorarium from Michael Israel just to make an appearance on his show. And he said to Michael Israel, he wants to protect his brand. So just like Ringo TV said he was not sure about Dow and rather or not Dow would do the same thing to him that he did to Brother Rufus, I believe Ringo TV wanted to know if New Breed would do the same thing to him that he did to Michael Israel or make a demand of him with some money as he did with Michael Israel. Considering also that Mark the Messenger has recently stated that New Breed was always coming to him for things and really didn't desire his friendship. Now, me being a spiritual man, you should never trust a man who ditches the scriptures for any business endeavor. I don't care how much money it makes. And but by the pure fact you were seeking more money, it told me that you came down here with the intentions that you felt you were working for money. And this is why in the voice messages, we're going to talk about those particular tapes. You were asking, do I want you and your woman to come help me and my wife pack? And I told you, no. <laughs> there you go, TV. You can see in his countenance. That he was thinking the whole time about them 30 bands that New Breed asked to Michael Israel. The whole time, you can see that he was thinking about that. I'm not sure if it was a text message he left or a voice message. It was one of the two. And he said, don't worry about nothing. We're, I'm going to make sure all your personal belongings get there. And the way he was talking, he wasn't talking like a brother. He wasn't talking like a friend. He was talking like he's doing a job. Now. This is why UP Farms, this land initiative, is so dangerous. It's going to take a lot of money to industrialize that land space because you're dealing with drilling and discovery. 
those guys who do this type of work, they charge thousands of dollars just to drill and discover passage of water and sewage. In addition to that, there is a significant period of time you must wait to see a return on your investment. This is why a real man of Yah should never involve himself with these things because it's time consuming and it'll eventually turn your heart from the Lord like it did Dirty Low Dow. Because when he came down there, he's supposed to come down there as a brother. That's the principle. That's why I wanted him to come down there. He's the same guy that say we got to come together as a people. He's the same guy to say we need to work together. He's the same one that preached these things all the time. Ringo TV has a point. He once said that then he switched up saying ninjas are the biggest demons and that he's on a new level that's bigger than his own personal beliefs, that it's all about business and all people are welcome, et cetera, et cetera. So there's great reason to be suspicious of this dude. When you look at his video, he know he's wrong. He said he's the type of guy that if somebody was doing a job, he would pay them for this and that. Well, he's not me. I never made an agreement to pay him for anything. So you could think and have an opinion of what you think. You could say I'm cheap. You could say I'm this. You could say whatever you want. The principal thing is, did I make a promise to this guy to pay him $3,500? No. Because if you listen to the audio tapes, what did I say? The move. See, here's another thing with a lot of you folks that listen to his video, right? Because he was playing the video, the audio, but he wasn't explaining it and he wasn't letting the tapes rock out. Let me break this down for you. Um, the estimation of the move from the moving company was going to be 3500 That's not the full price, ladies and gentlemen. That's the estimate. Are you getting that? That's not the full price. That is the estimation of what we were going to pay. The way it works is the company would take your personal belongings, load it on their truck. Once they load it on their truck, they take it back to their base and they weigh it. Once they weigh it, then now they will calculate what the full price is going to be. And that was going to be over six to seven thousand dollars. Not thirty five. So what I said is being that it was going to be a problem later down the road, I didn't trust the moving company. All of this is in the tapes. All of that is in the voice memos where I came to him as a brother and made this very clear why I need his help. And I told him that later on, they're going to raise those prices. So rather than paying that $3,500 and putting it in the white man's hand, which they're going to eventually charge me more, I could take that $3,500 and see where it go. Meaning I'm going to get the U-Haul truck rented, right, for $2,500. And then the rest of the money, I can now use that to pay for New Breed to come down for his flight and hotel. I didn't ask him to bring his wife. He did that. And then I ended up paying for her too. So to be honest with you, that's his responsibility. Even if I paid the bill, he's supposed to say to himself, damn, I'm giving this brother extra bills by bringing my woman along. He was supposed to have integrity and say, you know what? I appreciate the fact that you're paying my way and my hotel and all that other stuff. Uh, I don't think that you should be paying for my woman because I'm bringing her. That's my technical, that's my responsibility. New breed is wrong in this situation. But I have some questions that I want you, the audience, to ask New Breed about this land initiative. Number one, I want New Breed to give an estimate of how much money the people will need to collectively spend to industrialize the land space, considering that a few businesses will not thrive without at least 10 other businesses nearby on the land. Number two, how do you justify the potential widespread of immorality if the land becomes occupied by the rainbow people, and how will you answer to the most high for that? Number three, do you agree that your initiation of this ordeal is far different from doing business with people who in the world in your everyday life? Because some months ago, nobody was talking about how we do business with people in the world, and he was trying to say how this is similar to them doing business initiating Yuki Farms. No, that's gaslighting because it's much different because you're the one that's initiating worldliness, bringing people together to be in opposition against the most high. Then you're trying to make it like you're not getting your hands dirty 
because the other people are sinning and you're not the one that's actually doing the sin on the land. No, you're the one that's making promotion and denouncing the scriptures out of your mouth, saying that it's okay to do business. And if anyone rebukes you for it, you're blaming them or accusing them of being religious. So it's much different. To whom much is given, much is required. The Most High will judge you for this. Anyway, number four, will there be a refund if the land is seized or if for whatever reason, the initiative altogether is a failure, okay? So I want you, the viewer, to post questions in the comments for a brother new breed regarding this land initiative. Okay, I think it's time that we examine brothers to see whether or not they are in the faith, okay? Don't let your flesh write checks that your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. It's about fates and gates. You've got to have faith, and you're going to need God's grace.